What's up guys, it's Colin G here, the Swole Nurse, and today it's all about the speed. But on a serious note, it is an absolutely beautiful morning out here in Virginia. Chopped off all the hair so I'm bald again and I'm feeling like a new man. Uh, today is speed squats and my legs and hamstrings are still tore up from two days ago. But we're going to get it done and I want to take a minute to talk about something on YouTube fitness or fitness in general. Uh, the majority of fitness is made up of um, normal public, normal pu the normal public, not not people who care about strength training, not people who care about, um, you know, being a physique model or any of that uh, stuff. So <clears throat> I lost my train of thought. Let's rewind again. Uh, we're going to keep all this stuff in here because I don't like really editing out all of uh, my mistakes. But let's try this again. Uh, people who get down on themselves about the way they look in the YouTube fitness industry and in the Facebook industry itself have to remember something. We are only like 3% of the population of the entire world who routinely actually lift weights and care about fitness in general. When I walk down the street, maybe in a given day I can point out three people who might actually lift weights. Other than that, it's just me walking around town with my buddy who lifts weights. And, um, you know, what I'm trying to say is when you're watching all of these YouTube videos and you're watching all of these things on Facebook, don't get discouraged about yourself because you're already badass. You're already better than 90% of the population out there when it comes in terms of fitness. YouTube is just a place where all of the people who are into fitness gather into one area. So you take the people that are um, amazing at this and you compact them all into a little space and then we watch them all the time. So we think that that's the norm when it's not the norm. The norm is 40-year-old people walking around who are out of shape and haven't lifted a day in their life. That's the norm. So just remember you are not the norm. You are above the norm, and you're doing amazing. That's all I wanted to say, guys. Everybody's doing great. You're doing great. You're amazing. So let's try to survive these speed squats. Let's mix up some pre-workout. Let's get to the gym.
Okay, YouTube. That marks the end of week five. We are definitely pushing ourselves past the point of comfortability. And not the normal comfortability that people uh, are assuming where, I mean, you know, that uh, it's easy in the gym because we pass that point all the time. I'm talking about to the point where you're not comfortable, you haven't uh, repaired everything before you go into the gym, and then you push yourself past that point. My elbows hurt. My hamstrings are on fire. But we have three days of rest coming up, so that'll be okay. But I have to work 12-hour shifts, so I'm going to be up on my feet all those times anyways. However, don't take this as complaining. I'm not complaining about hard work. I just want to let you guys know how I feel right now. I'm uh, eating in a caloric surplus. I am supplementing the right way. We're just working hard, folks. We're working hard. Once again, this is Colin G, the Swole Nurse. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow those social media links down below. Share the video if you feel like it could help somebody out. And I will catch you guys later in another video. Peace! Peace!